Hello, my name is Dr. Travis Elsall. In the first video, we talked about how measuring your health by how well you're feeling can be a very dangerous thing. And it's actually determined by how well your body is functioning. So the next question we have to ask ourselves is what controls the function of our body? So when we go to a medical dictionary, Gray's Anatomy says this. The nervous system is the master system of the entire body. It controls and coordinates every single cell, tissue, and organ that make up our body. So if you think about it, the nervous system controls everything. So when your heart beats a little bit quicker, it's your nervous system that's telling it to do that. And when you eat a piece of food, it's your nervous system that's telling your digestive system to digest that food into its basic nutrients so your body can use it for building blocks. And when you catch a cold, it's your nervous system that tells your immune system to help build up antibodies and start to fight off that cold or that flu. So literally every single function that happens in your body is controlled by the nervous system. Not only that, this may sound kind of strange if you never thought about it before, but we literally live our lives through our nervous system. So what do I mean by that? Well, we have five senses that take in information whatever the world has to give us, good or bad. So what we see, smell, taste, hear, and feel is they're all neurological senses bringing in information so that our brain can comprehend it and then make sense of it all and then we can respond. So when we see a funny movie and we laugh, it's our nervous system controlling that. Or when we smell some wonderful food at a restaurant and our stomach starts to growl a little bit. It's our nervous system that's in control of all that stuff. Or when we watch a soccer game and our kid hits the winning goal and we stand up and we get those goosebumps on our arms and we get the chills and we stand up and cheer. It's our nervous system that's in control of all of that. So literally we're, we are living our lives through that nervous system through your nervous system. So with that in mind, how important is it that that nervous system that controls everything in our body and that nervous system that we live our life through, how important is it that that nervous system works optimally 100% of the time from this point for the rest of our lives? Well, in order for us to be as healthy as possible, it's very important. So now what we have to do is figure out what causes our nervous system not to function optimally. When we become overstressed with chemicals, with traumas, and with emotional stress, a disturbance can form in our nervous system called subluxation. Now, subluxation may be a new term for you, but it's basically a disturbance in your nervous system caused by those three traumas, toxicities, and thoughts that disturb the communication from your brain to a part of your body. So think of a subluxation like this. If you ever had a bad connection on a cell phone and you can't really understand the other person on the other line because of that bad connection, it's hard to understand what they're saying and you can't have a good conversation going back and forth. That's what's going on with, with your body when they have a subluxation in your nervous system. Your brain can't communicate to a part of your body and in return that body part can't tell the brain what's going on at that part of the body. So now what we have to do is talk about a couple facts about the nervous system. The fact one is the body's self-healing and self-regulating which means that when I cut my finger my finger will cut, bleed, scab up form some scar tissue and after about three or four weeks you won't even know that that cut was there in the first place. That's because our body is self-healing. Self-regulating means when I run around the track or go for a jog and do some exercise my body realizes that my muscles need more oxygen so my heart starts beating a little bit quicker. That way blood can get to my muscles and feed my muscles with more oxygen so that they can function optimally that's self-regulating. Or another example would be when I eat a piece of food. As soon as I swallow that food, I have no control over what happens to that food anymore. 
my digestive system is automatically digesting that food, breaking it down into its basic nutrients so that my body can use those nutrients as building blocks. That stuff, that self-regulating stuff is happening automatically. You don't have to think about doing those things. So, once again, the body's self-healing and self-regulating. And we've already discussed that the nervous system is in control of all of the things that go on in our body. So if we put those two things together, if we disturb the nervous system, we can come up with a conclusion that the body cannot self-heal and self-regulate appropriately. So the point that I want you to get from this video is that when we have subluxation or nerve disturbance in our nervous system, it decreases the function of our body, which in turn decreases our health potential.